Hello everyone and welcome back. My name's Nicholas and this is Major Crit. Here we are, standing in the boss room, according to the map. Got that flashing skull right on top of us. But, the boss isn't here, so I guess we're gonna have to explore around a bit more. And, uh, try not to die while we're doing so. As you can see, we're on pretty low health. We're gonna have to be careful about how we do things. Trying to stun the enemies, dodge the attacks, and just generally don't get hit. I hope we can find some hearts, or even better, a fairy. Ooh, I don't like this. I immediately don't like this room. Okay. The weird enemies trying to figure out who they are and how they work. I want to get some magic dust on this bouncy enemy, because he'll turn into a fairy. If I hit him? Perfect. Alright. Now, which way do we want to go? Let's have a look at our map. Left or up? Uh, up looks like it might be looping already, so let's go ahead and go left. Ah, that was almost bad. Okay, so there's going to be some of those red and blue switches for the, the walls. I'm hoping that one of these guys like drops a heart or something. And I think I'm hoping that mostly, well, A, I'm just hoping that in general. B, I'm thinking, ouch, that that might be a possibility because they're the same color as the heart. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Uh, here, come on, come on, come on. Come to me. Ah, oh, that's not great. Ah, all right. Yeah, well, here's our... Switch to switch things. Let's go ahead and go up first. Oh, literally up. Upstairs. Where are these little guys in here? Ah. Why can't they get past the walls, but I can't? I guess those ones are smaller, at least. Oh, I don't care about money, because I've got all the money in the world. Okay, so I'm presuming uh, if I could press the right button. We want to bomb that. Okay, maybe I was wrong on bombing that. Hey, one of you guys dropped a heart. Excellent. And a second one. Alright. Well? Nick, it's me, Zelda. Don't be deceived by the magic of Blind the Thief. Be careful. How do we get through here? Maybe there's a button underneath one of those skulls? I really thought it was going to be a bombable thing. Let's do this. The safest way to get through here. Alright. Somehow made it. Have to be bad at that sort of stuff. More bombs. Ah, there we go. Button. More cracked floors that make me think I should bomb them, but if I bomb those ones, then I'd block off the entire hallway, so I'm assuming. Can't, but we might lay a bomb or two down on the way back. What are these little guys supposed to be? They kind of remind me of like grasshoppers almost. All right. Is it that one? I uh, know. Threw it too far. That's like in the big obvious area. Yeah, with the light shining right on it to highlight it. And with tons of bombs and a chest full of bombs leading up to it. All right. Presumably we need to do that for some reason. Hey, I didn't think that was going to do anything useful, but I wanted to try it anyway, just in case. 
Now this other thing will have dropped down as well. Ah! Okay, here we can get that fairy now. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so if we'd come in here earlier, it would have been a dead end. And being able to just, like, shoot with your sword is so useful. Just stand back and, you know, kill an enemy or two without... Oh, even getting in danger. I say as I put myself in danger. Yeah. Button. Alright, so that button leads us back in front of the boss room. Which... Uh, is this going to be one way? Yes. Alright. Okay, so that's what I thought. Looking at the map, the um, place where we place the bomb is right over top of the boss room. So, need that for something. But, fortunately, I guess like going up and down the stairs or something like that. Reset things. The enemies are back. Though, that might also mean... Uh, no, I'm not seeing anything respawn underneath there. Right. There. I wonder if I can... Catch a fairy. Yes. All right, sweet. That's super useful. Very relevant to my interests. Get out of the way. Charge through. Now, why did these guys respawn? Normally, I thought it was because I'd, like, went up and down the stairs. That might have caused the respawning to happen, but... Rooms I was just in recently are also... How many fairies do we have now? Two. Excellent. All right. We're at close to full health, and we have two fairies. That's an excellent position to be in. As we head downstairs. Do you think that we'd be able to fall into that hole and just, like, land right down here, since it's right above us? But I guess not. Arrows. Remember those? They might be useful. I was about to say, how are we going to get through here? Because... I don't think we can push something this big. But the door opened. I'm used to those doors being like one ways. All right, we're definitely gonna be able to get the power to like move heavy things though. The boomerang, it does nothing. Ouch. I just said the boomerang does nothing. Why did I just throw it try to throw the boomerang again? There we go. So that leads back into the first room, blocked off by the big block. Huh. Sweet. All right. I was wondering, so we don't have any keys. How are we supposed to do this? But I guess it's the big keys that are allowing us to get through here. Oh, it's a bit hard to tell because, um... It's not a normal sort of lock on a door. Oh, thank you very much. You saved my life. Please, take me outside. We just got warned about not trusting people. This person was, like, behind, like, three different layers of things. Uh, you know, uh, locked doors. Maybe something's going on here that we don't understand. Nice. All right, sweet, 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 sweet. sweet. Um, hammer. You got the Titan's mitt. The floor's also falling. Now you can lift the heaviest stones that were once impossible to budge. Sweet. All right, let's get out of there before that keeps going on us. I oh, mean, we can still hear it happen. Ouch. Uh, 
Can I just like lift this literally over my head? Sweet. All right. It's going to open up a lot for us. Um, huh. Is this just a bad room to be in? We make a mistake by walking here? I feel like we kind of made a mistake. Ah. I, I know, somehow I, I got myself mixed up with the girl. Ah, I was looking at her and not me. Can we... At least I was thought we can like bomb one of these walls. That it wasn't entirely a, just a trap for us. Oh, no, wrong. All right, no, it was just a trick. A little, little tricky trap that they put in for us. Yeah, whatever. Seems weird. Like, it seems like there should be a secret in that room. But it was quite dangerous, and I already lost a bunch of lives there, and I had done everything that occurred to me to do. Well, hey, let's go ahead and go to the boss room. Uh, just to, you know, double check since we've done everything else and got all the items. Let's go ahead and equip the arrows as well since we picked up a lot of them recently. Yeah, too bright! Ouch. Why did you walk into it then? Arrows are so slow. All right, and he does not seem to care about them at all. All right, how do I deal with this situation? Hmm. Yeah, because nothing seems to be interacting with the head. Well, nothing's interacting with the body at all. Um, and then things are just tinking off the head. Oh, one second. I could sworn I tried to slash him earlier and it didn't do anything. Okay. Also note, he does a ton of damage and we've only got one fairy left, so, uh... Play it safer? Yeah. Yeah, okay. One second. Oh, this is an issue. Right, there's more of them now. Oh, man. What part of him am I trying to hit? Alright, well, there's our last fairy. Um, I guess we are hitting his head with our sword. dead. One hit and we're dead. One hit. There we go. All right. Ah, <sighs> game over. Haven't seen that in a minute. All right. Well, let me just double check something real quick. Yep. All right. I am going to go heal up and find some fairies and then come back here and fight the boss again. We'll have a take two on that one. Um, now that I can understand how I'm supposed to be fighting him, maybe things will go a bit more smoothly. We'll see. Anyway, um, I'll go do that off screen. I'll be right back. All right, everyone, welcome back. So I'm back. I've got full health. I've got three fairies. I've also made a uh, save state since we're on the switch, so that if uh, we die again, 
we can just redo that without me having to go and grab the fairies and come all the way back and just waste time like that. But let's quickly go over what we learned from the first boss fight. Or first attempt at the boss fight. So that we can maybe do better next time. So we know that his head is his weak point, And that it seems to only be affected by our sword. Not by any of our other weapons. Uh, we know that when he's flying around at the top of the screen, it can be hard to hit his head because um, it's at the top. And we get hit hurt if we touch his body. Um, so we'll probably need to go in from the side. He's at the bottom of the screen, however. His head's at the top of the body. Easy to hit. It's also easier to hit his body if we are doing the spin attack, but when we're doing the spin attack, we have our shield down, and so we're not defending ourselves from all the increasingly large number of uh, bullets being shot by his, you know, floating heads. So with all that information in mind, let's go ahead, we'll go carefully, attack from the side when he's on the top, attack from the top when he's uh, on the bottom, and keep our shield up to try to block some projectiles as we go. All right. All right. There we go. Ouch. Not the worst. It's just going to get more intense. All right. That seems to be working pretty well as far as number of hits. We are taking some damage, but as long as we can out damage him, it'll be fine. We are going into this fight with an extra berry as as opposed to last time. Oh man, we must have been so close last time. Okay. Well, see, that shows you the difference between going into a fight with no idea what you're doing and going into a fight with a game plan. All right. Hey, what message do you have for us this time? What wisdom do you have to pass on? Are we wearing gloves now? I thought our hands used to be the same tone as our skin, but now they're green. Nick, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. As the wise men sealed the way to the dark world, the Knights of Hyrule defended them from the attacks of evil monsters. I heard that the Knights of Hyrule were nearly wiped out in that battle. You are perhaps the last one to carry on the bloodline of the knights. It is ironic that the last one in the line has the potential to become the hero of legend. Surely, you can destroy Ganon. I don't think that's ironic. I mean, I understand. I just, I don't think that's ironic that the last surviving member of the group of people to defend the other group of people is continuing to defend that other group of people. Right? Like, that, that just seems to be following on with what you would expect. Anyway. Narrative things aside, may the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Sweet. We got big gloves. So, next we're headed down to the lake. But, as we've mentioned before, there's quite a number of heavy things, rocks around this area that we're blocking off, well, who knows what. And I want to find out what. Uh, for instance, I saw a weird frog behind some dark rocks. Um, as I was going back to... Uh, I went back to Link's house, or the Dark World Link's house. To pick up fairies. You know there's like that uh, cave with like a whole group of fairies in it. Um, super convenient. Um, I'm just double checking if there are any of those big rocks around here, but I don't believe so. Now, this must be, like, those two rooms um, in uh, the dungeon, where it's, like, you know, the square room uh, with the red and blue pillars, and then the hallway, and then the room where we threw the bomb uh, to burn blind with the sunlight. So, like, the window must be, like, right here. It looks a lot smaller from this angle, but I guess all the buildings are smaller on the inside. Or, sorry, <laughs> smaller on the outside, bigger on the inside. So we can pick these up, for instance. Whoa. Take a bunch of little creepy skeleton birds. A bunch of things to nail down. The hammer. Huh. 
Huh. Why do we want to be here? Why was it blocked off? Is it a light world, dark world thing? Makes such a cute little sound. Does something happen if we pound all these stakes into the ground? But they really look more like they're squished, right? Oh, bird, get out of the way. Bird, get out of the way. Alright. I wasn't really expecting that to do something. Huh, I was thinking maybe a chest had appeared in here. Oh, I see. That tree disappeared. What's down here? Ah, a piece of heart. Nice. One more and we'll get another full heart. Right. I feel like there should be something more in here, but... Hmm. Nothing. Oh, a piece of heart is still a good reward. Even though it feels a little bit unfinished, we will continue on. Now get through this area easily, because we can pick up the rocks, including uh, this one. Hello, froggy. Oh, ribbit, ribbit! Your body did not change! You are not just an ordinary guy, are you? I used to live in Kakariko Town. I don't know what my partner is doing there without me. Ribbit, I have a request of you. Please take me to my partner. Please, Ribbit, please. Um... Sorry, I'm a bit confused, Frog. Do you mean... Something would be there. Like... Get you back to the light world? You might be able to do that. I think there's a portal down in the swamp here. I'm um, like... Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to interpret. Is it get to the uh, a place in the Dark World Kakariko Village or Thieves Town or whatever it's called that you want? Or is it get back to the Light World? And can I bring someone back to the Light World? I do not remember that being a mechanic in this game. And here we are. for all the enemies in here. Remember there being a lot of... Hey! Give me that back! There we go. Don't want to have to replace that. Huh, I thought there was a... portal here. No. Um... Hmm. <laughs> What are we supposed to do with this frog? Still no big bomb? No. Alright, um... Hmm. See, the thing is, I don't really know where any of the other portals are into the dark world. Or back out of the dark world. If there are any... Right, let me try this. We get closer to where we picked him up, and closer to Kakariko Village. We've got less walking to do. Let me just, like, use a mirror. Is it really that simple? That seems too simple. Which is why that's not what I did at the start. But it might be that the simplest answer is the correct answer. Man, we really... The game chugs when it does that. I wonder... What's up? It doesn't seem very well optimized. Alright, so we'll get... Here. In fact, let's kind of go like right back to where he was, so that we'll know if if he gets left behind, we can just you know be right back with him and try it again. Oh, hey, it's a smith. That's who he is. All right, all right. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right. I thought he was going to be up in the mountains. Just for some reason, I thought the Smith was lost. Smith was going to be up in the mountains. No, he's right here. Welcome home. Can you temper my sword? I'd really appreciate that. Yeah. Ah. Oh, happy days. Are ah, here again. You found my partner. Why are you a pirate? I thought you were a dwarf. Our piratical dwarfs, they be. We are very happy now. Drop by here again. At that time, we will temper your sword perfectly. 
Okay, so drop by here again. So does that mean leave and enter? There we go. Hey, you, welcome. Ask us to do anything. Uh, temper my sword, that's the thing I want you to do. I'll give you a big discount. Sword temper, 10 rupees. Yeah. Tempered, eh? Are you sure? Yes. All right, no problem. We'll have to keep your sword for a while. Oh, so I have to go around without my sword for a while? Huh. Interesting. All right, well, I guess we will have to go around hammering people for now. Um, but sweet. We've been looking around for a sword upgrade. That's great. Um, we'll keep poking around. Uh, probably go to the next dungeon tomorrow. Um, I'll see you guys there. Hopefully with an upgraded sword. We'll see how long it takes. Bye.